Hey, what's up you guys? How are we? And what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back speci- What the f- Did I sit on that? <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> oh, my, my hat's fucked. Welcome back to another video guys. Today's video is extremely exciting. Um, I, I love these videos. I don't know if they're, they're going to suit everybody, but you know, I'm, I'm a big kid at heart and I, th I don't think I'll ever, you know, I got my first PlayStation 1 at five years old, right? I was five when the PlayStation first came out. What a time to be alive. I feel so fucking blessed. I've seen, you know, I, I, I loved it. I, I was absolutely obsessed. That's what we did as kids. We played sport, but we also came inside and played PlayStation. Um, Tony Hawk's Gran Turismo. When rugby games and sports games came out, I was an absolute, you know, mega fan. So now that we've got the PS4 with the graphics we do and the PS5 is about to come out, um, you know, <laughs> it's, and my YouTube channel, you know, I can create content and bring it out to my YouTube channel around video games. It's fucking awesome. I'm having a whole lot of fun and I really hope you do too. But with that being said, we are going to take this, you know, relatively seriously at some point because we're making, what we're doing, we're creating each individual player on a rugby field as a certain NFL player, okay? This is basically the lineup that I named last year when I made a video called, I just made a full rugby team of NFL players and this is how it went. Um, I basically rattled off, you know, with my knowledge at the point that it was at the time, a whole team of NFL stars that I thought would transition across well into certain positions on a rugby field. Okay, today's mission. We're gonna be creating a winger. In the game of rugby, a winger is basically a wide receiver. That's what it is, it's a wide out. It's a wide receiver, you stay out wide, um, you run routes or lines, as we call it in rugby, to put the defense off. Uh, you know, getting that ball on the burst at pace is, is super important just like it is in American football. You want that ball to be thrown out in front of you when you're sprinting so you can grab it on the chest and continue running rather than have to like look back or fumble it or whatever. So in the game of rugby, it's exactly the same. If you're a winger, I'm playing on the wing at the moment. I'm out wide. I'm basically watching that guy inside me and then watching the guy inside of him, making sure that I stay deep enough so that you know I can play whatever happens in front of me, right? I wanna be able to run onto the ball at pace whatever happens. And that's gonna be up to me to watch what happens and also to be fast enough and to be you know, agile enough to be able to get into positions quickly and uh, you know, to take advantage of them and score in the game of rugby because anything can happen at any time. But as a winger, you pretty much are out wide for most of it, waiting for that ball to come. Now, there's one player, ever since I saw him, and one player only that I've thought, okay, we have to see what this guy does when he gets on the wing in the game of rugby. And if we can't see it in real life, which we probably won't, unless he's paid millions and millions of dollars to do it. Uh, his name is Tyreek Hill, and the only way we're gonna do it is in this game. This game's titled Rugby Challenge 3. I'm about to create Tyreek Hill as a rugby player and put him on a rugby field. I'm about to create the fastest player in the NFL on a rugby video game and watch him cause carnage. I absolutely cannot wait for this. I'm, I'm excited as fuck. I cannot wait to, 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 I can't wait to play with these guys in the game. And with that being said, let's get into it. Tyreek. Now, if Hill as a last name is not there, well there it is. We don't have to worry about that. So that means that <laughs> every time Hill gets the ball out on the wing, he breaks a tackle or he makes a tackle or he scores a try or does anything, uh, you know, the commentator will call him by name, which is going to be sick. He's from the US. He is of African descent. We're going to say, we're going to say left wing, actually. We're going to say, yeah, on the left. Um, and with that being said, we're going to call him a left footer. 
even though I don't know if he's left footed or not, but if he's on the left wing, you want to be banging off that. You want to be you want to be banging off that left. Um, I don't know if this actually makes a difference to their game, but we're going to give it a shot. So he's left wing. Attributes. Okay. If we go left, I wonder if left wing is any different to right wing. Let me see. No, it's not. It's the same. Okay. Right. So if I look up Tyreek Hill's Madden statistics from Madden 20, um, the latest readings, by the way, if they do, oh my god, 99 speed. Wowee. Okay, fitness. you got to be fit, bro. We're going to go 90. Speed. Can you go 100? Yes, you can. And we're going to do it. It's going to be the only player we do. But I do know who's going to be 99. And that's going to be Henry Ruggs when I make him. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a full team of 15 players with current players. And then on the bench is going to be either college or retired players. So that they can sub in. Which, you know, gives me an opportunity to include players that aren't actually currently playing in the NFL. Acceleration. 99. We're going to call it 100. Aggression. You know what? I'm going to call it 85. <laughs> you with me? Okay. Are you with me still? Yes, you are. All right. Aggression. 85. Agility. Do I even need to look? 98. All right. We'll keep it at 98. Break tackle. Well, look, if it's not through strength, it's through agility. So we're going to say 90. Tackling. See, that's where it gets interesting. And that's where if I don't give them enough statistics in certain areas, they play like shit in the game. And I don't want him missing too many tackles, but we're gonna, we're gonna say, you know, he's not the biggest. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh, look, he is an athlete. I'm gonna say 55. Passing, I feel like he could probably spin the ball pretty well. Probably played, probably played quarterback in high school. Um, we're going to go 80. Offloading 80. General kicking. Look, I think, I, I seriously do not do not think he can kick the ball for shit, to be fair. Um, Tyreek, if you do see this, uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But we're going to go... And, and you know, wingers do have to kick the ball sometimes. But hopefully if we make his kicking stats low, he may actually run the ball more often. So we're going to go... 30 for goal kicking, 35 for general kicking. Catching, well, he is a wide receiver and he's got pretty damn good hands. We're going to go 90. Strength, we'll take that from Madden, that's 64. Mental agility and discipline. Now what I've been doing is I'm taking their awareness statistic from Madden. I'm grabbing whatever they have above 50 in points dividing it and adding that to each of mental agility and discipline. He's 94 awareness, that's 44 divided by 2 uh, equals 22, so I'm going to give him 72 mental agility and 72 discipline, which, you know what, I'm going to call that pretty much bang on. Jumping, even though he doesn't have to jump for a line out, but he does have to jump for the ball if there's a nice bomb put up and he's a chaser. So we're going to say 80. Right. First thing I want to do is sort out the complexion. Because that changes a lot. Um, we're, going to, we're going to go... Um, that one. Now, where is he? Fuck, he's got a wide! Oh my god! Oh my lord. Why do football players have such wide necks? Like, seriously. What in the actual fuck? Um, god damn. I'll go this guy. Okay. What, what, what's his... What's his... What's his hair like now? He's got dreads here. Oh, no. No, no. Actually. Does he have a little bit of blonde in there? Let's see what we can... <laughs> um, you know what? We're going to go that. We're going to go black. Facial hair. Got a little something, something, something going on. 
Um, whoa, hey! <laughs> oh, wow. Boom. Body. Right. 510 or about 177 and 185 pounds. So we're going to call him 178. And we're going to call him 84. 178 centimeters and 84 kg. Literally the only player I've ever gone down in height in and backwards in weight. You gotta to play to your strengths in the game of rugby, right? There's players on the field that are good at all sorts of different things. No one's good at everything. And I'll tell you what, there ain't nobody on the field that's gonna run a nine second hundred meters. Boom, got it. Okay. He's absolutely shredded. Um, defined, yes, arms, hmm. He's not the biggest. He's gonna be, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna look relatively, he's gonna look smaller than a lot, of, a lot of the other players out there on the field. So we gotta make him look, you know, realistic. I'd say his legs are pr pretty fucking big, but there he is. Legs, boom. Okay, so the way that we're gonna find him on the field, as per usual, we've got his purple boots, and being a back player, and a wing specifically, we're gonna give him purple sleeves. No tattoos, even though he does have tattoos. And there you go. Boom. So, let's see if we can find him. And see what star rating he's got. <laughs> uh, there he is. Oh, oh, he's got the highest star rating so far. It's all that speed. Tyreek Hill, left wing, 94. Sweet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put Tyreek Hill on the left wing for the All Blacks. I'm going to swap the left wing out. I actually, I don't know who it is. I think it's uh, Julian Savia. We're going to swap him out, put Tyreek Hill in. It's a 10 minute match on Rugby Challenge 3. The team is going to be called Team Tyreek Hill. It's going to have the All Blacks as the squad. It's going to have the entire All Black squad, except Tyreek Hill's going to be on the left wing. And they're going to be playing none other than the USA Eagles. So I hope you enjoy. I actually can't wait to watch this game. I wish I, you know, I could, shit, this could be the one game that I try and commentate myself. No, you know what, it, it just might be. Actually, no, you know what, no, I've got big plans, I've got big plans. Once we have the entire team finished, and then I can create the entire rugby team full of NFL players, and then pit them against other teams, that's when I'll start commentating, and I can't wait to do it. But for now, we're just gonna watch the Sim game. I hope you enjoy. I hope Tyreek Hill scores a couple of tries. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. I wanna see what a player with 100 speed actually looks like on this game. And with that being said, I'll see you there. Twickenham Stadium is the spiritual home of rugby union and is the largest stadium in the world to be solely devoted to the sport. Steeped in history, it is somewhere players and fans the world over dream of visiting. My co-commentator for this match is former All Black, Justin Marshall. And you couldn't ask for better conditions, could you? It's a scorching day here and the fans are in a good mood. I hope they've remembered their sunscreen. A packed stadium like this really will get the players all fired up. It should be a good game of rugby. Your Blacks form up for the Haka. Challenge accepted, I think it's fair to say.
we're all ready to get the first half underway. There's the signal, and here we go. Kick off, drag down. Release. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Powerful defence. Richie McCaw delivers it on. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Brody Retallick gathers it out of the back. That's still alive. It's still on for New Zealand. Aaron Smith moves it on. Looking to jink his way through. Yep, it's still on their side. Very good position for them to attack from here. Ball lost forward. So ref playing advantage. He'll be disappointed with himself for knocking that on. Release. Rutgers formed. He has to release. Players only just arriving now. Shut down with a brutal tackle. The referee has pulled them up. They'll go back for the scrum. Crouch. First scrum of the match. Find. Set. Davis puts it in. Good, solid defence so far, though. And a good battle going on here. USA have some problems at scrum time. Ball's out here. Hill moves it back. That's a very good run. Carter can't beat his man. Your Blacks should be keeping this, surely. Hard and straight. Abbott shakes him up in that tackle. Franks picks it up. Ma'anonu walked down just short. He keeps the ball moving. Oh, he has not missed him there. Oh dear, the whistle goes as they get the ref's attention. And this is right on their own line. There might be a yellow card for someone here. And they'll kick for touch here. They'll have a line out. White block takes it nicely. And he gets smashed in the tackle. Richie McCaw pushes it on. That's gone dead, and I suspect they'll take the kick here. <laughs> 22 metre restart now. He dives on top of it. Ben Smith pumps the legs with a good charge. Kieran Reed charging through. Big run. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Liam Messam taken nicely there. The ball there now. Brody Retallick keeps it going. Wyatt Crockett tackles superbly there. Great work in the ruck. It might be stolen here. Moving up the field, but still a long way to the opponent's try line. Now taken to the ground in a good tackle. Well, they had to defend valiantly for a number of phases. That's still alive. It's still on for the All Blacks. Strong defence. Given the alarm. Release. The ref wants them to let go of it. Just starting to get a bit of dominance, putting a few phases together. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Messam picks the ball up. Nice inside. Points. Tries to fend but is taken. Mialamu unable to beat the cover defence. A good pass to his support player. Oh, he's lost the ball. Knock on. He's playing advantage. They just overplayed it on that occasion, advantage trying over. to force opportunities that weren't there. The bounce is good, and he reels it in. Fekatoa brings him to the ground nicely. He's holding on for dear life here. 
Aaron Smith keeps going. Reed decides to run it and does well. Ah, yes, brilliant work by the All Blacks. A good pass to his support player. Nonu finally stopped. So let's see what they can do from here. See if they can get into a position to launch some kind of an attack. Ball knocked loose. Yeah, went. Stolen it. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Lovely tackle. Good work in the ruck by the USA. Coleman pulls it out of the back. Johnson gets some speed up. And finally taken to ground now. He's having a go at the ball. Yeah, that's good phase play there. Well contained. It's still on the side of USA. And he goes straight through. Well, they're building nicely. Paul stopped in that tackle. Do they have this still? Yes, they do. Gets taken down in a hard tackle. Proud on their feet. I think they've turned it over. Aaron Smith feeds it off now. And that's been well covered by Johnson. And he goes inside. Chase runs smack into the defence. There's some real force in this defence. Here's the pass. Paul, decent metres made on that charge. Release. The ref wants him to let go of it. Coleman has it out the back. USA chasing well. That's a very flat pass. Inside pass. And he's crunched to the ground hard. Good contest, but it's still theirs. Hill has the ball. And he unleashes a good, strong punt. Paul picks the ball up. Banks lays it back. Pass inside. He pushes the pass further. Ben Smith anticipates well. And that's a knock-on by Fikatoa. And they'll play advantage. He really should have been able to take the ball from the look of it, but he lost it. He just couldn't control the ball. So, at half-time, we're all square here. Half-time here, and great work to keep things unexpectedly close by USA. It's a full house, and the general mood here is electric. Bit of an untidy match so far, Justin. We can have a look at the stats now. Position favouring them overall, but not by a lot. The kickoff and the second half is away. Kickoff nicely taken in. Your Blacks might still be going here. Sends a good pass. Short pass here. Aaron Smith goes hard. He will surely score. There's the first try. Well, that ball came down to pressure. Plenty being piled on, and in the end, simply outstanding. My word, that is a good try. Oh, yes, he's been very impressive. Absolutely. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away, and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Yeah, I think you're right, Justin. their five they could get their seven difficult kick this to add the extra two this will be close but I think it's going to go wide not what he was hoping for and he can't add the extra two yeah it wasn't a great angle to work with was it So the kickoff is made. 
McCaw to secure this. Players in the ruck doing their job, still alive. Brody Rotelli delivers the ball. He's chucked a beautiful pass inside. Why, it's Brockett driving hard now. Having a go at the ball. Powerful defense. So they get them all going. He pushes it on. He keeps the ball moving. A good run has finally ended. They have to release the ball now. Smith gets it away. Little with the tackle. Stringing some phases together. Brody Rotelli. Brought down now. Ruck is formed. He has to release. Conrad Smith delivers it to a runner. Sam Whitelock loses some ground. Well, they had to defend valiantly for a number of phases. And he's got support now. Tackled now after a good run. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. He's run into a good tackle there. Stringing some phases together. That'll knock the wind out of him. He's holding on for dear life here. Just starting to get a bit of dominance, putting a few phases together. The ball's being contested. Aaron Smith pops it up. McCaw has no answer to that tackle. Stringing together some phases, but the defence holding pretty strong. Now taken down hard. Banks claims it. Steps his way through nicely. And he stopped in that one. He makes a dart from the back. A good pass to his support player. And he bangs it through for a field goal. Did very well in the lead up to those points. Look at the drop goal here. He's done well, hasn't he? It's not easy doing that under pressure. And the kickoff is made here. Kickoff taken in. Crowd enjoyed that tackle. Hiranara finds a runner. Up he goes to make the catch. It's so easy to drop the ball in a situation like that, but I've got to say, he never looked like dropping it. Wilson grabs it out of the back. Good defence. He hits the defence hard and straight. It's a very good run. Trying to turn it over quickly. Davis gets the ball to his support player. And they take Release. him to the ground. He's got to let it go now. Banks launching himself at the defence. Met by the defence. There's some real force in this defence. Miller gets the ball away. Davis, the dangerous runner. Not long to go now. The last few plays of the match. Miller is absolutely smashed. Little gets the crowd on their feet with that run. They've got themselves into a position to take some points. Driven hard into the turf. Somehow he's managed to grab that back. Over the 22. We're into the last few ticks of the clock now.
That's a lovely kick to touch. And the game is over. The All Blacks have done it. The All Blacks just too good in the end. A respectable game of rugby. Just able to come through with the win in what was a very, very close match. They dominated possession in this game. You can see that there. There was a lot of kicking in this game. A definite battle for territory. No shocks there then. This one played out according to script. So a very even contest here really. An excellent game of rugby. So final score here, New Zealand with the win 8-0. Until next time, it's bye from us.